JavaScript offers dynamic control over every aspect of a web page, and that includes being able to add and remove objects on the fly. You could create a container and then remove it based on a user's input, and when you consider the possibilities, the implications are endless. So in this video, I'll explain how to remove a div container using the JavaScript remove child method. Now I've created uh, an HTML page and here we have a uh, div container and inside there's a button remove and if I click it right now nothing happens but down here I've created an on click action for that button so that when it's clicked the JavaScript function remove div will run and I've used the this keyword so that'll be passed off the state of the button will be passed off that function as well if we need to use it uh, what I've done here is created in the uh, head section a style sheet and in that style sheet we've got a div ID we see that hashtag there that means we're referencing an ID for temp div so let me just go ahead create an extra line here and I'll just say div ID equals temp div now, all that'll do is just create our div according to the uh, parameters that I've assigned here. So if I save it and refresh right now, you can see there's our div container. So it's right there. What we need to do now is create our JavaScript function. So in the head section, I'll go ahead and start the tag uh, script and type equals text slash JavaScript. And what we're going to do is start our function. Now the function is going to be called remove div. That's what we used down here for our on-click action. So remove div. And then in parentheses, whatever we want the variable to be called. So I'll just say button state, just in case we want to use that to change the value of the button. We won't do it now, but it might come in handy later on. Now I'll go ahead and create our braces for the function. And let's go ahead and create that. Now what I want to say here is var, I'm going to create a variable called, we'll call it eddiv, and then make that document dot get element by id. And what we want to do here is reference this div container right here. And we know the div container is called temp div. We can see it down here. So I'll go ahead and put parentheses and then uh, quotes, single or double, doesn't matter, temp div. Now, once we've done that, let's just go ahead and close that off because we've created our variable and then we've taken this element using the get element by ID method, passed off the temp div container into that, that variable called edIv, and create an extra line. And now I'll use our edIv variable, which is that container now, parent node dot remove child. So remove child is going to essentially take that div off the page. And let me just go ahead and reference edIv. We've got to make sure that we tell it what to remove. And if I go ahead and save that now and refresh and then click remove, you'll see the div is gone. So effectively what we've done here is created that variable. In that variable, we've stored the contents of temp div. We basically said put it in that variable. And then here we're saying take that variable and use the parent node dot remove child method on the edIv container. Let me go ahead and refresh it. We'll see it one more time. You can go ahead and delete it. And you can do that very easily with any page object in HTML using JavaScript and the remove child method.